You are listening to the Shannon Todd Interviews podcast on SoundCloud. Hope everyone is keeping safe and enjoying the pub weather, if we can call it that. You're about to hear the next episode of my podcast and this time I've spoken with Alice and Ben from ABH Promotions. We met up in the Wedgwood room, socially distanced of course, and had a chat about how they continued throughout the pandemic and how they look to be coming back when we can get back into the Wedgwood rooms and to see some live music. Ben and Alice were kind enough to put together a little mini mix of the sort of sounds you'd be hearing if you were to attend an ABH Promotions gig. I played out that little mini mix along with a little segment of the interview out on my show on Unmade Radio but I have posted that show down below if you did want to have a listen back. If you did ever want to be featured for an interview or have any music releases or anything you'd like to talk to me about whatsoever make sure to get in contact via my Instagram page at Shannon Todd Interviews but for now enjoy the interview and have a lovely rest of your day. So you are listening to the Shannon Todd Interviews podcast. We are back and today I am in the Wedgwood Rooms with ABH Promotions, otherwise known as Ben and Alice. Hello. Hello. How are you guys today? All good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's strange being back in the Wedgwood Rooms, to be honest. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. And you guys are redecorating well have been redecorating and are redecorating now. We are, it's going to look nice and fresh. For when we can all come back. So let's start off with what is ABH Promotions for anyone that does not know? I can do that. Um, (laughs) ABH Promotions is Alice and I's kind of gig booking duo. Uh, we, We kind of started up, I think it was August 2019. Yeah. Um, we, we, uh, booked our first show in which uh, ended up in November. So you're still fairly new, and I'm sure lockdown really helped when someone's trying to start up their Mm -hmm. booking agency. How difficult was it starting up? It it was easier than we were expecting, mainly because we kind of already had contacts with the first gig we booked. Like, you you knew Vinyl Staircase through the boiler room. Yeah. I think the first gig was quite easy, we knew what we wanted, Yeah. and then it was just going from there really, we're lucky to be working in this place anyway. The second gig I think is always the scariest. Yeah, and it was, because uh, it, it, it was probably a, a bit more of a established band. Yeah, Beach that, Tape. That they, they had a bit more of a team behind them. It was during Independent Venues Week as well, so Yeah. we mm-hmm. felt that pressure. But it went very well, it was a lot busier than we thought it'd be. We had um, Dad here opening the night, Winter Garden's main support who played Dials a few months before. Yeah, so we, we knew there were quite a few people who were quite interested in them as well. Dad here always bring quite a big local yes. crowd. Dad yeah. here were great. Yeah. I love Dad yeah. here. Yeah, so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Is it ever intimidating approaching artists and their their management when you're just starting up probably was at first it was at first we kind of jumped into it and didn't really establish like a logo and where we really just, yeah, want, kind just, of just wanted to start we up and get go going yeah. yeah so the first band obviously was just like uh personal contacts that was fine and then well the second gig in independent venue week we had to approach agents and yeah we kind of felt a bit yeah very new to the yeah. game I, I don't even know why we chose Beach safe in particular, like. But it paid that, off. That, 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 oh, it paid off. Yeah. Definitely paid off. It was good. They were great, lovely guys as well. Yeah. Um, so you're a little bit more established now. Well, well, well I'd we, say we you guys are established like, now. I do feel like we've learned a lot throughout lockdown, and yeah. we've listened to a lot of music. We've had a lot of contact with bands, and we've got good relationships with different agents now. Um, so that definitely helps. Yeah, yeah, just need to get back out there. Really. It's, it's been a long time because our, our last show was um, the 11th of February mm-hmm. in 2020. That's so long ago. Yeah. yeah, we were about to put on Wax Machine. About yeah, two there, there, there were lockdown. two shows that got cancelled about a week's notice, M- maybe even, even less than yeah. that. Yeah, we, we had two shows that were back to back that got cancelled. Disheartening, it's, isn't it? It, it was at the time and we, we were really getting down at having to cancel all the shows we had but then we kind of changed the kind of approach to it we, we just thought well this this is happening it's happening to everyone 
Um, mm. Everyone's in the same control. boat. Yeah. yeah. So mm. what we can do, we can just kind of like get in contact with a few bands, see if they want to play shows when things open up, and then just keep riding like the reschedules. Like, and say <laughs> to, hey, how you doing? Still yeah. interested? Hey, cool. And then, yeah, keep that contact going. That's one good thing, I think. When we all, well, good thing, maybe not the most <laughs> appropriate word, but when we do come back, there's such this thirst now. People want to get out. There's going to be an audience for every gig. I'd like to think so, definitely. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Is there any that you had to completely cancel and now, unfortunately, obviously you don't have to say there, names? There were loads. So there was about they, four or yeah. five. We cancelled Wax Machine, we cancelled Beach Riot, we couldn't resch- couldn't get dates to reschedule those, we cancelled... Baby Banger. Baby Banger, Parpley. Oh, that would have been brilliant. Yeah, yeah we had Parpley. I don't think we announced that, no, though, no. but it was about to be announced and we had to just cancel it. Which was, yeah, that, that was sad as um, well. And we had Ball Headlining with Nature TV. But they, we couldn't get a date, so we ended up just putting Nature TV on headline, which is brilliant. They're absolutely lovely guys. Yeah. And we're really happy with that lineup now. We got Amalia Blue and Sound Palace supporting on that, so that, we, we're that's quite That's a excited. brilliant lineup. Yeah. yeah. We're hoping, well, it was going to be socially distanced in the wedge. But mm-hmm. I think now, fingers crossed, it's going to be back in the edge, not socially distant. Because we were saying just before this interview, I think, I hope I get the right country, uh, so Germany have done gigs, like a very large gig. Mm-hmm. Um, so yesterday in Liverpool, they're testing out, not socially dis- distant, no masks. So it looks like finally the music industry isn't being ignored for our we've had festival n- uh, announcements as well. I know there's been some cancellations, but hopefully it's the start to uh, move forward. Yeah. Find out what works and what doesn't work, what we can do and what we can't do. So what's the end goal? Do you want to be like putting on gigs for, I don't know, Guild Hall or even bigger? Are you at the moment just happy concentrating on the wedge? We're happy and yeah. concentrating on the edge. Hopefully one day, maybe a band on the main stage. Mm-hmm. But I think with the bands we like, the bands we go for, they really do suit the... Yeah, the definitely. Venue. Yeah. And there's definitely the venue, like you said, that suits the bands that are playing, and it's where the the audience are going to be coming anyway. Like the yeah. people that are coming to the wedge, edge for other gigs, it kind of like falls into their music taste. Yeah, definitely. So it definitely works. What what have you guys been listening to throughout lockdown? Oh, <laughs> so many. Uh, well, um, at, at the start of lockdown, we were kind of. Um, throwing ideas around of how to kind of keep present present yeah mm. um, active present keep us probably interested not interested but involved yeah and and kind of keep our minds in the uh, in the zone in the zone with uh, abh and not get sidetracked so we, we um started up the monthly playlist that a lot of local promoters do um but it, it, it's, it's been fun to kind of interact with uh, the bands who we put in them. Yeah. Who, who just kind of like speak because to it, us it no Because it notifies well. them, doesn't it? If you put a playlist, say on Spotify or something, mm. and you yeah. add to, uh, an artist song, they get a notification. Yeah. It's been good to also keep some kind of relationship with other bands that we haven't worked with yet that we'd like to. Yeah. We've got that communication through social media and having them in playlists and stuff. I don't know if we were so keen on the idea to start with, but we did it and it's great fun. We can listen. We yeah, we, make we, sure we're listening to. It, the it music. keeps us yeah <laughs> trying to find new bands as well to yeah fill the playlist, and then you'd come across like really undiscovered gems kind of. Yeah, it also keeps that conversation going and the interaction with the audience as well. Like we're mm-hmm. still here, we are gonna come back. Yeah. Promise. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to think of any bands that really stood out the past year, but there's just so many. There's so many. It's so many. It's been such a long time now. It it feels like everyone's just been really creative. Yeah. In in the lost time. About probably I don't know if it was about a year ago. I said to Ben, I really love this band called New Dad. Oh yeah. I'm obsessed with them, and I was like, I really put them on. They've exploded. And now look at them. Yeah. Selling out all these places and now I'm fuming. Could have got them in. <laughs> You're not gonna drop it. I'm never gonna drop that. Oh, I was just... The one that got away. Yeah, I'm heartbroken. Yeah. But 
that just means like you can have the next big thing hopefully yeah. you could be like i put that band on i'm very excited for uh when you guys come back and seeing some live music and being back in the wedge um i like to play this uh game on my interviews and it might work even better because there's <laughs> two of you guys oh. now you don't have to take part if you don't want to but i'll give okay. a scenario and it's whatever song pops into oh, your this head for really that. I've been listening to a lot of like throwback nineties <laughs> well, is it noughties pop. It'll just all be Madonna on it. It'll be like Madonna Shay, yeah. Madonna <laughs> Cher. <laughs> I interviewed uh someone just through like Zoom and they had like Avril Levine and I was like, what? I forgot about oh, her. Legend. Okay, so let's start off with first big night out when we can all go back out and you're getting ready what song are you putting on while you're getting ready Ooh. and i might Ooh. even pick which song i'd then pick out of the two can of yours yeah 100 percent. there's a bit of a competition i don't know how competitive yeah. you two I'm are really between each other uh, between, I don't know. well we'll soon find we're, out we're, we're... i might cause a riff now <laughs> <laughs> um big night out song oh can't even find a playlist. So, I really like the new album by Black Honey. I've heard a few bits from Black Honey. Um, I've not heard the new album. Okay, there's some good songs on there. Like Beaches, that would probably get me in the mood to go out and party. <laughs> it sounds weird saying going out and party. Oh, gosh, yeah, it does. I've got to be so scared. I'm not going to know what to do. I'm not sure I'm ready for crowds yet. I don't know, I think Garden by Totally Enormous Extinct Dinosaurs would be a good song. Oh, I forgot about that band. <laughs> right, what's the perfect heartbreak song? Um, um, maybe Mariah Carey? Something a bit of Mariah bit Carey. Of Mariah. Why not? I, I don't know what I'm It's a difficult to. It question. Was probably Classy Headdress. <laughs> like, they're my favourite band. It's all sad boy music. So. Classy Headdress? Car Seat. Car Seat? Yeah. I've not heard of this band. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, definitely. They're, they're not everyone's taste, no. but they're they are a bit depressing. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the kind of music we both been listening to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, last one, and this is always my favourite one. Right, I hope that you guys did this as well, because if not, I'm gonna look ridiculous. Okay. okay. When you're a teenager and it, you're in the car and it's raining and you pretend you're in a music video. What song is playing in your head? Um, oh, um, Wide Eyes by um, Local Natives. Forgot about Local Natives. <laughs> I'm going to make a playlist when I get in. I think, I think that's the name of the song. I'm going to just go for like another really shit song, probably. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Someone asks you what song. like I, I can never remember any song titles or artist names when me someone neither. asks me and it's, it's my job and you know what I'm going to be thinking about this now for ages and I'll probably message you like oh I've chosen my song now I get a lot of messages <laughs> after no it's my job to talk about bands on the radio and I can't remember them <laughs> yeah. at all and it's like um frantically looking for my notes playlists are fine because you don't have to talk about no. the songs you just go there's there you, you go to, you can listen to it make your own decisions you have to back it up do you yeah for reason don't know I really don't know. Well, you, you can share Ben's one if you want. What was Ben? Uh, Local Natives. Natives. And what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a teenager and it's raining, you're in the car, you look out the window and pretend you're in a music video. Okay. Um, it's hard. Maybe like it? All Saints or something. Yeah. A little bit of like Pure Shores or something yeah. like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird question. I'm always scared That's if I ask good. someone and they go, what? He did that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. when, whenever you're on like a coach journey and you've got yeah. nothing else to do on just, but just stare out the window. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, playlists, where can we find them if someone wants to listen to your playlists? So, on our social media account, in our bio, there's a link. Alice set up a lovely link tree to I'm, all the shows. I'm and quite obsessed being with yeah, being Spotify. Yeah. And stuff. So, there's a whole list of. <laughs> on like, ABH Promotions Instagram. Yes. Facebook, or Twitter. You can go to abhpromotions.com. Oh! We, we've actually got a website. <laughs> You're further than me. <laughs> we've got a website, yeah. Um, so all the links are up there. Yeah. Links to uh, <clears throat> gigs, the 
playlist there's links to submit your band if you want to play that's what i was gonna ask so if someone's okay. listening and was like oh i would love to do a gig for them mm-hmm. listen to the bands they play i've had a look that's the sort of vibe i'm going for is it all on the website so they can submit some music yeah, yeah there's, there's a, a form you can fill out or you can just email us uh, direct at promotions abh at gmail.com and are you just looking for local artists or if they're touring or out of town anything really yeah we obviously love putting on local bands mm. we love that and um if there's other bands that are looking to, uh, doing a tour then yeah get involved I feel like it's going to be very difficult coming out of lockdown with everyone's like conflicting schedules, but I feel like you're going to have loads of people contact you. Well, we already have. Yeah, it seems... And it, there's yeah. barely any dates this year, so we, we, we we're kind of... Yeah, yeah, we're looking at this year. Um, to next year, really. But. Already? Yeah, so we'll be... Probably in like a month or so, we'll start thinking about 2022 gigs because we can't do anything rest of this year now yeah. so we'll just jump out and fingers crossed 2022 it might go back to normal weird saying that isn't it 2022 <laughs> it's a mouthful it was like 2019 I haven't left my house yeah. since 2020 <laughs> <laughs> yeah so upcoming shows wise what have you guys got in the pipeline what can we expect so first up we've got Nature TV in July yes first of July <laughs> <laughs> And then after that, we've got High Society, they're coming back, which is going to be brilliant. Exactly, a week later. A week later. Busy um, couple of weeks. Yes, that's going to be a great gig, yeah, those guys are great. We've yeah. Just announced Tugboat Captain with 31 Hours. Yeah. I'm learning all these new bands, I'm going to go home and <laughs> like, Spotify well, we, them we, all. We have got a Spotify playlist with all the bands we've booked. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. going to find that and, and go <laughs> yeah. through. Do it. Um, Hanya with Thames of Youth so we scheduled one from some point last year <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was meant to be January this year I think and then after Hanya we've got Fools Heads supports announcements still to come and then after them we've got a lovely French band called Keep Dancing Inc yeah Keep Dancing Inc yes as in Incorporated yes <laughs> <laughs> well you never know now yeah, yeah. like it sounds the most like coolest coolest isn't the most ridiculous but the coolest <laughs> bands at the moment seem to have the most ridiculous name yeah. oh yeah it's but they stick always in your head. been like that when I've mm. been looking for bands as well. I can't stand the name Squid but it's such a good <laughs> band and I will they never forget I will never forget yeah. that name are you seeing them um, when they come to Southampton I'm doing my best I'm trying <laughs> I'm sending emails I miss the to get tickets when they've released it and then yeah I thought I'd kind of like wiggled my way in and mm. then obviously lockdown happened and I don't know how they're going to feel about putting people on guest lists and stuff but fingers crossed have you guys got any gigs that you've booked as in going to go see well we've got quite a squids, few yeah, yeah. yeah. squids um, I've got Olive Parks Black Country Ooh. New Road yeah. oh is that the Gatia Bar no, no it's the one in Southampton yeah the uh, one in Southampton is it 1865 yeah Possibly. yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got another Sky in Brighton as well as Olive Parks and the Beths from the Australian band yeah. there next year that's meant to happen last year I've got foals booked for actually. next year. <laughs> foals for next year. Yeah, yeah it, well, it was meant to happen May last year, and then it was meant to happen May this year, and now it's happening May next year. For someone that's been you know, in lockdown for the past year, quite a lot of gigs coming up. Yeah, yeah. I, looked, I looked at my calendar, and it seems like every time I got a little bit sad about lockdown, I just yeah. booked another yeah. gig. I mean, some people are a bit kind of uh, reserved about booking tickets because they think, oh, we might get cancelled, but... They don't get rescheduled or refunded, right? Yeah, exactly. So, and then by the time it comes round to the gig, they might be that bit bigger that you're not going to get a ticket. Yeah, exactly. Um, lastly, so with things like Victorious, would you ever look to possibly have a stage at some point? Do you think that's something you'd like to do? I don't think we we, we haven't really got any like future plans. You just go in. Yeah, go with the flow. Do like a mini day festival in the edge at some point. that would be, yeah. cool. be cool but that like the aim was probably this to do it like this year but mm. we have not done anything yeah we, we, we need to work so back out we it. need to go <laughs> yeah. back into things and then maybe end of next year or beginning of the year after we could do something like that a little day festival in the edge would be cool i i prefer day 
like day festivals to the whole weekend thing mm. it applies it, to everyone though doesn't like it it's, and... yeah the the lineup never is like written for me if you know what i mean yeah there's a yeah. few bands to pick out like me and the moon obviously are playing so that'd be wicked seeing them who else black honey on there super yeah super i'm very excited for Supergrass. madness <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Madness play, twice. So. They all the time. <laughs> I swear they play every Victorian. Yeah. <laughs> Alice and Ben, thank you so much today um, for taking the time out to see this interview for me. Where can people find your information? Where can where can we get that from? So uh, we've got website abhpromotions.com. Um, so you can visit that, and that's got all our upcoming gigs. Uh, with links to the wedge and it's got like our playlists a form for bands to submit music to us as well all our social media is at abh promotions yeah simple mm. and is everywhere facebook instagram twitter facebook, a lot. instagram twitter and we have a youtube channel mm. do yeah, you we, we do <laughs> we, 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 we haven't really uh, it's got, um, used it much since the yeah, first show but we, there's a like a promo video for the vinyl staircase gig that we. No, there's actual videos of songs from that gig. That's yeah, cool. But obviously that started up and then things closed down. So. Well, when everything's open again, you can put some more yeah, videos on there. Yeah, we enjoyed that doing like yeah. videos and getting people into film bits and edit it together. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Have a lovely rest of your afternoon. Thank you. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.